pretty clear video, new video tonight of the confrontation that landed two men in handcuffs charged with assaulting a Baltimore City Police Sergeant. Now this happened, as you can see up in the date, back in January, a total of three people were arrested off the statement of that sergeant, along with a viral video and city cameras. WMAR 2 News Eddie Kadem got new body camera footage of that. It kind of tells a different story than what we were initially told. Eddie? The video we had was the initial attack on the officer in that viral video. Now we're the first TV station that has the body worn camera footage of when the officer gets out of his car up until the moment that the body camera was knocked off. He initially claimed it was never turned on. We also have two more videos and the statement of probable cause from the officer. This viral video caused an uproar that led everyone from the governor to the mayor to the state's attorney to call for swift justice for those involved in attacking this officer. Sergeant Simpson said his body camera wasn't on because the incident suddenly started and he wasn't able to activate it. At the time, Police Commissioner Michael Harrison said Sergeant Simpson did nothing to provoke the attack. Today, a spokesperson from the police department said they were made aware of the videos we're about to show you today, and they've been turned over to the Public Integrity Bureau for further review. His camera was on, was on the entire time. He never turned it off, but it was portrayed that this incident was not captured on body camera footage at all, and it completely was captured up until the time that Mr. Abdullah kind of reflexively push the officer off of him after being assaulted by the officer. First, we will play the entire video from the body warm camera of Sergeant Simpson only editing out the swear words. Me? When you ready? Next time I'm gonna hit you you say your mouth is your problem. Go ahead, I got a call. Excuse me, I don't give a it's called shit. Stop my face. The video ends with Sergeant Simpson pushing Abdullah and Abdullah responding by pushing back, apparently turning the body camera off. At one point, Sergeant Simpson says, even says, go ahead, I have enough for everybody. So not only is he, has he initiated, he's then not de-escalating the situation, not moving on. He's actually escalating by saying, go ahead, I've got enough here for everybody. We, and we all know what that means. We also just got this body camera footage that was attached to a responding officer that coincides with Sergeant Simpson's initial statement of probable cause. The attorneys say neither is factual because Abdullah never spit in the officer's face like Sergeant Simpson claims and refutes that Abdullah pushed Sergeant Simpson first. For clarity, Abdullah can be heard yelling in the background while on the ground in handcuffs. Trying to clear him out. Okay. That's not helping the reason. He won't move. He's blocking the doorway. Well, you told me get the f out your way. So I push past him. You push. Get in the doorway. He turns. Spit in my face and he pushed me. And then I pushed him back. And the fight was on. Gotcha. I don't know where my camera went. The last video is a cell phone video that shows a different angle of the struggle shown in the initial viral video released in January. This video ends with Donnell Burgess, who's also facing felony charges, dragging Abdullah away from the officer. They're calling on Marilyn Mosby to drop all charges on their clients and publicly apologize to them and for charges to be brought on the sergeant. At Baltimore City Police Headquarters, Eddie Kadem, WMAR 2 News. And we reached out to Baltimore City State's Attorney about these new videos that you just saw, and they said we cannot legally or ethically comment on open and pending cases or investigations still under review as is the case at hand. As always, we will be transparent with the public about our decision and publish any relevant information if and when the time comes. Now, the attorneys say both their clients are on our, on our on house arrest right now facing felony charges. We'll have all the videos uploaded on WMAR2news.com.